of the Libertarian National Committee. I'm here with Pete Ayer, who's the Executive Director of Bureau Crash and BureauCrash.org, and we're going to be discussing a little bit about the Liberty Activist uh, wing of the Libertarian movement. Uh, how, hello, Pete. How are you? Thanks for coming by today. I'm great. Thanks for having me. Uh, so tell me a little bit about BureauCrash. How long have you guys been around, and what is it that you guys do? Uh, yeah, I, I'll be glad to. Um, Bureau Crash was founded about eight years ago, in, uh, around the year 2000. And the background on it was there was a businessman in New England, he's kind of in the shoe business, one of the first uh, businessmen who had opened a factory in China, actually. And um, he was looking to donate a lot of books he had on free market economics. And he tried to donate them to area libraries and schools and basically was rebuffed. And I don't know if it's because of the content or they didn't have shelf space, but you know, he, he asked himself, how, how is the youth of today, how is the next generation going to get exposed to these ideas of freedom? And so he, through an organization called the Henry Hazlitt Foundation, which was a nonprofit based in Chicago, he got in touch with more of a creative ideas guy who was uh, in on the IT scene at the time. And uh, uh, after a lot of brainstorming, they came up with the idea of bureaucrash, and they thought they were going to um, inject uh, into the conversation these ideas um, via activism. So a few months, and one of the uh, one of the events that uh, caused them to think that activism may be the root was in Seattle in '99. Uh, some of y'all may remember the world, uh, the WTO protest that went on, and so they saw like the the, the passion and the uh, of folks that were out there, and uh, kind of wanted to, you know, capitalize on that. Obviously not for like property destruction and anti-market forces, but but. Uh, they thought activism may be a way to reach out to, to the youth uh, and, and folks of, of that generation. So what kind of things has uh, Bureau Crash participated in up to this point? What, what are some of the major events that you all have done and, and uh, what are some of your big success stories? Um, Bureau Crash is all about activism. We use new media and guerrilla marketing and kind of street theater. So we try, to, we try to use all that and capture the limelight, basically. So what we'll do is um, we, we call them crashes. They're basically counter protests. So there may be a, an organization pushing you know, for the passage of a bill that we think will really hinder our, your, your personal freedom, uh, your economic freedom. So we may go um, kind of make fun of that. So one, one event uh, that my predecessor took part in was uh, when Michael Moore's sicko was being released, you know, calling for universal health care. And they had a big event here in DC. So uh, him and some other folks went down there, um, dressed up as, as, Ca as uh, Castro you know, being pushed in a wheelchair by some attractive nurses. And, you know, they handed out some literature about the, the re what real universal health care looks like with shots of roaches and stuff like that. And, you know, and then word of it got to Michael Moore, and they're like, what's going on? And, and uh, someone said, you know, they're accusing you of being a socialist, and he just laughed at it. So, you know, there's events like that. And in the past, we've, we've done some uh, more international things, and I'd really like to get back to that as well. So, so what role would you, uh, would you say that people in the Libertarian Party uh, could play in, in uh, Crash. Like, what, uh, what what kind of activism would you like to see, and uh, w what could you envision a, a relationship with um, members of the Libertarian Party and Bureau Crash being? Yeah, Bureau Crash, uh, we say we're an organization ma made up of people from all political persuasions, united by the goal of uh, increasing individual freedom and decreasing the scope of government. So. There are self-described libertarians involved with us, and you know, just as there may be some conservatives or liberals and you know, anarchists. But um, as for how folks involved with the LP could get involved with Bureaucrash, I would really uh, point to Bureaucrash Social, which is a site we launched a few months ago. Uh, the idea there is to just decentralize our operations so things don't have to go through Bureaucrash personnel. So crashers, which is what we call people involved with Bureaucrash, so crashers can connect. Uh, from around the world and share ideas and learn from each other so they don't have to reinvent the wheel. So uh, I would encourage anybody interested in you know, spreading these ideas through activism or just honing their own like debate skills to come to Bureaucrash Social and um, connect with some folks there. So why is Bureaucrash important? Uh, how did you get involved with it and why is it important to you? Yeah, I first learned of Bureaucrash in the summer of 2005. I was up at the Free State Project's annual Porcupine Freedom Fest and uh, some folks from Bureaucrash were up there, and you know we met them, we hung out with them, party with them, talked with them, and uh, then I got continued to get more involved with them. And here in D.C., uh, participating in crashes, running into them at kind of movement events, and uh, I came on board officially uh, last spring in uh, 2008. And uh, for me, it's important because you know I think I think uh, individuals best know how to run their lives, spend their money, and I want to 
you know, help make that happen. I want to get government off people's back. Um, you know, however well intentioned somebody is, you know, the uh, public choice economists uh, have really pointed out the harms that stem from a, a big government. So uh, we're just trying to introduce these ideas to other people and uh, really get them to internalize it and uh, hopefully bring about a freer world. Somebody was telling me uh, before the story about um, some people who had printed up some shirts that said uh, capitalism on them. And uh, they went to this socialist rally and they were handing out shirts that looked like the Coca-Cola Classic logo, but it said capitalism on it. And everybody at these socialist rallies were picking up on them because they loved the logo design. I don't think they even got what they were wearing. But uh, I, I, I guess, was it you guys that did that? Or like, can you tell me a little bit more about this? Or what was the... Yeah, that's right. They had a uh, beer crash went to this uh, rally and basically set up a table, brought a bunch of Enjoy Capitalism shirts, and um, a bunch of, yeah, like you said, socialists, a bunch of folks, you know, maybe self-described progressives or leftists bought the shirts. Maybe some of them think it was a joke, but, you know, in, in reality, Beer Crash sold out of all their shirts and paid for, which covered the cost of their being there. Yeah. So it, it's pretty cool, but... Um, yeah. what, what other kind of things do you guys have? You put, you put out a lot of materials, shirts, or... Like what else? Yeah, we call we we call our uh, merchandise our contraband, and um, folks mainly know of us yeah for beer crash social and our crashes, and but also our contraband. So it's just one way really for for folks to literally wear their ideas on their sleeve. It's a good way to start a conversation. And um, right now we have 25 different designs, and uh, most of them are some of them are designed by staff and and people in our network. But what we've done through beer crash social is we just have a a running thread, and we ask we solicit ideas from crashers, and every now and then we'll put all the ideas on a survey and we ask crashers to, to vote on which one that they think is the best, which best fits our brand, and then we'll, we'll print them out and design them. When I came on board, uh, we were outsourcing the printing of our shirts, which it was good and bad, but um, we decided to, to change to printing in-house, so now we're able to print on demand. So what would you say, like, okay, for people who, who don't know anything about Bureau Crash and never visited the site, maybe, you know, just are just starting to get interested in our you know, in our common issues, like what would you say to somebody like who's just visiting the site? Like, what, how would you like them to be involved, or what would you like them to do? Um, yeah, I would encourage you if 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 you're already on board, sort of with the the general personal freedom and and, and responsibility, then um, go over to Bureaucrat Social, check it out. We have um, it's getting it's super active. I think we've reached a pretty pretty good level, and uh, new people are joining all the time. We have groups based on geography. Uh, so crashers can meet in real life and get out and go do activism or support each other in whatever way. We have groups based on issue areas, so people are really challenging each other on, on topics they're interested in. Do you, know, uh, do you know how many people you have involved right now? Yeah, uh, right now we have about 1,800 people okay. uh, on Beer Crash Social, and we have, you know, folks are uh, creating events and they're meeting. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool to see that, you know, there may be some crashers meeting in Chicagoland or L.A. or you know, maybe it, it abroad as well. That, and that's actually a big thing that I'm, I'm uh, working to push at Bureau Crash is the, the idea that, that um, it doesn't matter where an individual is born, they have these same rights. It's just to what degree the government over them takes those rights. So, you know, someone could be born in North Korea or India or the States, and we all have the same rights. It's just, you know, we happen to, um, for at the time being at least, have not as oppressive of a government here so we can... Um, speak out a little bit more and, and try to uh, inform each other and educate each other so uh, but we're trying to really reach out to folks abroad um, to so they can join this community and share their stories and stuff too this concludes our interview i'd like to say thank you to pete from bureau crash if you'd like to find out more information go to bureaucrash.com uh, thanks a lot pete really appreciate you coming in we hope to see you again all right thanks for having me austin and thanks to you uh, for being active with the LP, spreading the ideas, and I encourage you to check out Beer Crash and let me know if you have any input. This is Austin Peterson from the Libertarian National Committee. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll hope to see you again. Take care.